Welcome to California Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We are taking it on the road throughout the state of California. Today, we are in ravishing Redding, California in North State. I literally, my breath is taken away by the beauty of this community. And we are joined today by the Vice Mayor of Redding. Her name is Francie Sullivan. Thank you so much for joining us. This is paradise. We think so. It really is <laughs> remarkable. Right now, we are at a home and behind us is the Sacramento River. It is moving, it is majestic. I see geese, I see osprey. Tell us about this community and what we see every day. Well, I like to ride my bike. Right. I don't get a time to ride it very much, but when you ride over the bridges in our town, and we have many, uh, always, almost every day of the year, you will see someone out in a kayak or a fishing boat, um, you know, you see people fishing all the time uh, right in the middle of town. We saw someone yesterday fishing. It we was have, majestic. We have eagles nests right in the middle right. of town. It's, uh, we, it's, it's, it is heaven. I'm staying at a local hotel and I opened my window and I look outside. I'm pretty sure what I saw were wild geese. Oh yeah. Oh, or, we, oh those are all pets. And we but, have thousands. <laughs> but it also seemed like next to them wild turkeys. Oh yes. Is that possible? Yes. Oh yes. Yes, I live in town and uh, we have wild turkeys. We have deer in our yard. Um, we had a bear in our yard. Wow. He didn't bother anybody. He didn't even get in the garbage. Busy. Yeah, he was busy. He was just of course. moving. You know? But yeah, it's, it's a wonderful place to live. I, I want to talk more about recreation because I would think that this community would be a magnet for recreation. I know it is at some level for sure. Are you looking to build this community into more of an attraction for, could it be kayaking, fishing? What are your goals as you look toward economic development? Well, I think our recreation possibilities are just golden. Right. And we've just been actually given award as the, as the, uh, best performing small city. But best Is performing that right? small city, but I we also that. are the fifth best city in the United States for biking, our trail, I mean for bicycling, our trails. We have 200 miles of trails. We have lakes and rivers and streams and everything for fishing and kayaking, which is something I actually uh, do. And, uh, you know, I, I have talked to our Economic Development Corporation for, you know, the last four or five years and said, why don't we have a kayaking manufacturer right, here? Right. So I, th I think part of it is that people don't know we're here. And in a way, of course, those of us who love it the way it is, uh, you know, that's kind of nice. But we need jobs, we need businesses, and I think recreation-oriented um, uh, manufacturers are a natural fit. Although you do have one company that I think is quite innovative. I understand it's called Sea Breacher. Yes. What does Sea Breacher manufacture? Uh, they make a... a, a um, I guess it's they're like called, a giant jet right. ski, but it's it, amphibious watercraft. Yes, they're, and we're told that that many people with yachts have these <laughs> to which use is up nice. their yachts. We don't have too many yachts in Reading, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are an incredible, incredible machine that you can dive under the water and come back out and. Uh, and, and they're from here, they're ready. And I wanna ask you about economic development because when I think about the earlier part of this decade and the last decade, there's no question that cities, municipalities, even counties relied on a tool that's known as redevelopment. We know them as redevelopment agencies. Were there abuses? Probably, but that being said, in the wake of the budget crisis of the last few years, redevelopment was eliminated. Yes. And so how does a city like Reading work and compete to try to attract new businesses when you don't have that tool of redevelopment, where you can't give the tax breaks, where you can't own property, assemble property? How, how do you march forward? Well, for starts, Reading's a hard scrabble town. I mean, we were founded on mm. uh, on mining and, and timber and cattle and agriculture. And we still have a lot of those resources right. here. I mean, you notice every place you look, in spite of, of um, rumors that abound in the country, there's lots of timber still growing here. Uh, um, so we have, a, we have a lot of products. This is also a wonderful place to grow things. And certainly, I think more and more people are getting concerned about their food coming from a place where they can see it grow and they know it's safe. 
And so we have all those things where uh, there's a, um, an effort amongst the community to get more high level, high paying jobs involving food production here. Um, we also have a number of small farmers who grow great food and we need more restaurants and things to, um, to use those products. Um, but we also, um, we still do have a lot of other, a lot of other right. assets. Real estate here, uh, relative to much of California, is very affordable. Sure. Um, we have a, a, a workforce um, that, um, you know, we still have 8.5% unemployment. Right. But um, dropped a lot. Dropped a lot. I, I know dropped you were up close to 18% yes, we unemployment. We so were. that's a so huge, we're thrilled. right. But, but there are still a lot of skilled, educated people here looking for jobs. And um, fortunately, I guess for someone who's looking to hire people, our, our wages are lower than in some places and let's, because our cost of living. Right. We, let's talk we, about that, if I may, because that is one point that I understand is a source of contention. Like we mentioned, uh, Reading has been ranked among the best performing small cities, which is a huge asset, a huge stamp of approval. But in that same study from the Milken Institute, it did mention that the wages are lower. But yes. again, like you said, even with lower wages, you do have a lower cost of living, so it should yes. even out, but that could be a tough sell. Well, we, we, we want all of that to raise. I mean, obviously, we want, uh, we want to improve people's lifestyle, and we want to improve the quality of life in Reading. Um, but still, it is possible here to buy a, a, a very nice house for less, obviously way less money than the metropolitan areas in California. And uh, we have a lot of other amenities. Probably our biggest one for anyone in manufacturing or almost any other business is that we have amongst the lowest electric rates in the state and we have the highest reliability in the state of California. We Reading have a, does a, have its own Redding public utility. utility right. and, we, and, and it's a small municipal utility. So if you want to get something done, if you want to, you know, and, and we do offer incentives for large power users, especially mm -hmm. those that use power at night or you know, sure. to balance uh, our, our needs. But, you know, you can get tremendous service from our local municipal employees. Um, we still have water. We don't have enough water, but we have water relative, you know, and Redding has diversified its water sources. We get a lot of water from the Sacramento River. We get our power from the hydro at the dam, right. but we also have a lot of wells. We get water from other sources, so we have a pretty stable water supply. What about the employee pool? I understand part of the challenge, because wages are lower, there's often an effort to try to create higher wage jobs, but then is there the pool of qualified employees? Shasta College, of course, is nearby. I know you're looking to expand that out in terms of programs. Chico State, is that another push for you in the city council? Absolutely, and we, we also do have private, some private schools here. Simpson University, which has a terrific nursing program. Wonderful. And there's big demand for nursing. And our, again, our community, and our institutions are all small enough and work collabor right. collaboratively sure. enough mm -hmm. uh, that you know they're they, they're flexible. They can they can change their programs. Like Simpson has just made a real uh, full press effort to institute this um, well respected nursing program. Um, and we know there is at, literally a dearth a, a right. dearth of nurses throughout right. the state of California. And whatever one may think about the Affordable Care Act, the reality is exactly. we're going to need more medical professionals on the front line, especially folks like nurses, nurse practitioners, because those folks will be the ones that will deal with primary care, which is the effort and the goal of the Affordable Care Act. Yes. So Simpson yes. University's timing could not exactly. be better. Exactly. And we, ha we also have, you know, we have National University and, and other right. um, uh, institutions like that, which are uh, making it possible for many people to get an, a higher right. degree here. Uh, that couldn't in the past. I, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Uh, her name is Francie Sullivan. She is the vice mayor of the beautiful city of Redding, California. My name is Brad Pomerantz, and this is California Edition.